Hey, this is Mike at Midwest Foam Planes. Uh, another short video. This one kind of just going over the details of my uh, Skycart kit that I've put together and kind of where everything goes and, and gear placement, that kind of stuff. Uh, the Skycart, uh, like you see here, uh, does have wheels, rolls on the ground, uh, propeller, rudder, and elevons. Uh, very aerobatic fun little flyer and it's also fun to scoot around on the ground uh, fly up the walls and so forth a uh, fun little plane as far as the kit contents um, and the kind of the main reason for putting the kit together the big thing is the wheels putting these I've, I've got a nice jig where I can make these nice round wheels so they'll roll uh, even they don't get lopsided or anything like that uh, they got a plastic uh, bushing plate on there so that they spin real well and this should last a long time. Uh, so cutting out basically for the four wheels you need eight of these uh, round plates for the sidewall of the tires. Uh, to go with those are the four tread plates that get wrapped around, glued together and then the sidewalls glued in on that and I do have a video on the, the tire construction. So I've got those pieces and that's the main thing that kind of drives the kit, cutting out those round pieces. Uh, I've cut them out of 3 millimeter black EPP, uh, so you don't have to paint them. Uh, if you're out on the asphalt, the, uh, the paint won't get scrubbed off, anything like that, uh, for if you're using white foam. Um, as far as the rest of the kit, we've got the base, which I've had to cut in half uh, for packaging reasons, and then I just tape them together, or I've got them taped together here, I'll pull them apart real quick. These are the two halves of the main part of the fuselage. They'll just glue together right down the center. And then I've already got the elevons pre-hinged. So those go down like that. That's, that would be the first construction step is gluing those two pieces together. And at that point you could go ahead and paint that base plate. Um, we've also got the side rails that mount underneath those uh, side plates. They've got a little taper towards the aft end and that just allows the back of the cart to squat down some. Uh, I'll show you on my cart here. You've got the the rail there and then the taper in the back so that the uh, back end of the cart can drop down. So tapered in goes to the back. We've got two of those. We've got the vertical section and this is something I'm, I'm going to put out there. I don't know if this is going to be something people are interested or not. This is a vertical section. What I've done is gone in and cut the motor mount area out and then I've cut the vertical fin on and then the rest of this is kind of wide open. So if somebody wants to go in and, and design their own guy, do Luigi like I've done there or Homer or some other cartoon character, uh, basically it's the same thing as the standard uh, race driver that we use. Uh, the exception this one gives you more flexibility if you want to go in and do your own character. Um, whatever you wish on there. Once that's painted up, cut out and painted up, then that would just glue right down on top of the, uh, the fuselage section there. Uh, as far as other things that are needed, um, eighth inch carbon tubing. Uh, we use for the leading edge. That just glues right across the front of the foam. And uh, we're going to, for the axles, we use a 1.5 millimeter carbon rod. On the leading edge, that carbon rod would actually insert into the carbon tube and get glued in place. And then the wheel would sit on that. And then on the aft edge, the carbon rod just glues across the or glues on the bottom of the elevon uh, two inches forward of the aft. It's a four inch elevon so right halfway back on the elevon that carbon rod would just glue right on the bottom and then your wheel would sit outside of that. And I can again show you on my cart how the bottom axle is. Uh, you can see I've gone halfway up the uh, elevon and have that attached there. As far as the rest of the gear, uh, I've just made some plywood control horns 
for the Elevons. I've just got a little plastic one for the rudder. Uh, the rudder servo is mounted as far back as I could go uh, with the lead that came on it. The Elevon servos are mounted out towards the ends and again as far out as you can go from the receiver um, as the wire will let you. If they're in a little bit and your control rod is angled slightly it won't matter. Um, I put the speed control on the left hand side near the front. I put the receiver on the right hand side near the front and then on the right hand side behind the receiver a little bit behind the CG. CG is between five and six inches so probably about six inches back is where I have my velcro for the battery and then of course the motor mounts on just one of the plastic mounts um, from Hobby City and that's about it. That's all it takes to put one of these together. They're pretty simple and uh, definitely a lot of fun to fly.